YouTubers, this is Mustafa. This is the second video in my series, How to Use AI to Enhance Your Design Workflow. In the first video, we saw how to install Automatic 1111 in our local machines, and if you don't know what I am talking about, I encourage you to go watch this video first, and then come back here to be able to follow me easily. Now let's begin. Now that we have Automatic 1111 installed and working, it is time to adjust some settings and download some models to help us in generating the perfect image. First, this web UI is continuously updating, so to make sure you have the latest version on your machine you need to update your clone. We can do that in two ways. You can go to your automatic 1111 installation folder, and in the address bar type cmd and press enter. This will open the command prompt. Here type git pull. This will update your repository to the latest version on the web. If you don't want to do that every time you open Automatic 1111, we can automate this process. Right click on webuiuser.bat file and choose Edit, or Edit in Notepad++ if you have it installed. And here before call webui.bat, type git pull, save and exit. This will update your repository every time you start Automatic 1111. Next, we need to fix some VRAM issues. For all of you who have GPUs with 8GB of VRAM or less, right-click on webuiuser.bat and again choose Edit. Here, after, set command line args equals, type dash dash xformers then space and dash dash medvram. These settings will make sure Stable Diffusion will use less VRAM but with some drawbacks. Using Xformers will make the generation faster but if you try generating the same image again with the same seed, the new image will differ slightly from the first one, but the difference is unnoticeable with regards to the huge difference in speed and efficiency you get from using Xformers. Using Med VRAM will decrease the use of VRAM significantly with the cost of longer generation time. But if you get a message, not enough VRAM, when you try generating an image, this is the way to go. If you still get this message, you can type here, low VRAM, instead of, med VRAM. But mind you this will have a significant increase in the generation time. Now let us download some good models or checkpoints. These models are the brains of stable diffusion, there are different models for different purposes. Now where to find these models? Civit AI is one of the best places to find good models. Here you can find the latest models you can filter them and sort them, and search for a specific model. You can find the link to this website in the description below. Go ahead and make an account, it is free. Let us search for Deliberate, this is one of the best multipurpose models out there. You can find a link to this model in the description. Click the download button. When prompted to save the file, navigate to your automatic 1111 installation folder, go inside the models folder, then stable diffusion, and save here. We will revisit this site many times in future videos, to download more models and other cool stuff that will help us produce better images. But let us keep it simple for now. Now the cool stuff. Run automatic 1111 by double clicking the web UI user .bat file. Let me give you a quick overview of the UI. At the top left corner, you will find this drop down menu where you will find all the models you downloaded. If you don't see the models in this list, make sure you downloaded them to the right folder, as I showed you before. You might also want to click this button to refresh the list. Below that, you will find the different tabs of the main interface, text to image, image to image, extras, and so on. Today we will focus on the text to image tab. Here, you can type your prompt, this is where you describe the image you want to create. This is the heart of stable diffusion, learning how to type a good prompt is critical for good image generation. This box is where you type what is called negative prompt. Negative prompt is what you don't want to appear in your image.
typing a good negative prompt can greatly enhance the quality of the generated image. The sampling method is how stable diffusion will create noise. Leave it at Euler A for now, we will get to that later. The sampling step slider dictates how many steps stable diffusion will take to convert the generated noise to an image. Increasing this value will increase the generation's time, and may not end up with better details, as you might think. With the Euler A method selected, a value between 20 and 50 is good enough. The next more important thing is the width and height. This is obviously the width and height of the generated image in pixels. Models that are based on stable diffusion 1.5 are trained on 512 by 512 images, so this is the best resolution for your generated images. You can push the limits a little bit for different aspect ratios, like portrait and landscape. You can increase the resolution up to 768 in either width or height or both. Mind you, this may result in some incoherency in the generated images, but most of the new models can handle this resolution quite well, and by adding a good negative prompt we can control this incoherency. Next is the CFG scale. This important slider dictates how much the generated image will adhere to the prompt you typed. The higher the value the more the generated image will match your prompt closely, but very high value will result in burnt images. Low values will slightly deviate from your prompt but will give stable diffusion more artistic freedom. Very low values may result in pale images. What about the seed? As you know, stable diffusion generates a noise first and then converts this noise to an image. The seed is a mathematical number that represents this noise. Negative 1, here, means a random seed, so every time you click on generate, stable diffusion will generate a different noise pattern, which will result in a different image. Now let us try the model we downloaded. Choose, Deliberate, from the drop-down list. I will write, Haunted House on a Hill, Big Full Moon in the Background, Flying Bats. Nice result. But we can do better. First, let us change the aspect ratio, I will enter 768 in the width, and 432 in the height to get a 16 by 9 image. Better? Not yet? Let us add details about the mood of the image and the quality we want, something like, ultra-realistic, insane details, cinematic shot, moody, dark vibes. Nice. Now use the negative prompt, here type something like, cartoony, sketch, 2D, 2.5D, ugly, worst quality, bad quality, bad proportions, out of frame, multiple moons, crescent. Adding words like, best quality, and, masterpiece, to the positive prompt will enhance the output. Now we are talking. These are the basics of Automatic 1111 for stable diffusion, we will discuss more advanced details in future videos. And please please, if you find this video helpful click the like button, it really helps with the algorithm so this video will reach more people. Thank you very much and see you in future tutorials.